Hello, I'm Tre, and welcome back to part three of my fairy tutorial uh, from the Fairies and Friends special, Colour in Heaven. Um, we were working, or I, sorry, I was working on the Gathering Poppies design from this magazine. Uh, the other two tutorials I worked on the skin and hair and wings. I'm going to finish off the green sections, which is going to be uh, the leg wear, you know, the ribbon and leaves, and also the stems and the middle of the poppies, because I'm working on a limited palette, will have to be green and yellow. So I'm going to do those sections now. I'm just going to remind myself of the colours that I was using on my limited pa palette. and. As I've mentioned before, I always write down my colours uh, codes so that I can come back to it and remember. Sometimes it'll be two or three weeks before I come back to a project, so it's a good way to remember this. Uh, so I'm working on my greens, which I've got out, the Marco Refine uh, pencils, and also a yellow, the highlights. Zoom in a little bit there. I'm going to be working on these sections here, the, the ribbon and the leaf design on the feet. Uh, as always, I'm going to now put in the highlights. So decide on when they, where they are going to be. Uh, ribbon, I'm going to a little bit of a highlight, almost like in the middle sections. Sorry about the shadow, uh, folks. I've had to put a, a light on today. It's not very bright outside, so I want to make sure you can see it properly. This ribbon here, the outside, a little bit of highlight. Um. I think I will have the leaf section on the feet, the end, where the highlights are going to be for these leaves, not the leaf effect. Apart from this one, because it's going around the foot, I'll have to do it in the middle. So that's in the middle, because it's going around the foot. And the rest will be on the edges again. There's my highlights. Now I'll take a medium green. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use the lightest green yet. Um, for this project or this section. I'm going to work from the middle and join up towards my highlighted section in yellow. I'll take the darkest green and darkening around the lines 
Again, I try and use the lines to give me an idea where I want my darker sections to be. Along this edge for that leaf. And there. And the darkest edge in there on the that's quite dark up there. As if where the pathway's going behind the leg. So again I'm trying to create a curved effect. Now I'm going to take a light green and my lightest green and do like a feathered effect between the yellow and the medium green. Just smooth out those lines. I'm going to go over with the medium green as well and smooth out a bit more. Building up the layers. Light pressure, as I always do. Do the lighter areas again. Right, I'm going to, off camera, I'm just going to do more layers now that I know where my highlights are and my dark sections are. I realise I've missed a, a section here of the ribbon, so I did that as well off uh, camera in the same way. I uh, did the highlights first and then darkening the edges. I'm now going to do the first blending layer, just lightly, see how it goes. light pressure so that I can put another layers on top of this if I need to. Right. 
I need more layers on this. It still looks a little bit patchy in parts. So I'm just going to go over the uh, layers again in various colours. I'm going to go into the darker section in here and made that quite dark. Same in there for the inside of the ribbon. In a tied section. For the edges. Now I'm going to go over all of the green and the yellow in the lightest green. It will dull down that yellow but it will blend it in quite nicely because I didn't need it to be this bright for the highlights. Using this as a kind of last blend. Right, happy with that. It gives it a nice glow effect underneath the lightest green by using the yellow as a highlight. Now I'm going to do the stem, which is this here. I'm not going to use the yellow, I'm just going to use a peerless green for the highlight on this stem. I'm going to do that colour first. I did all the high, the stems in the highlight first because I'm just going to go over the darker sections. It's quite a slim stem, so it won't be uh, easy to put that much highlight, you know, darker sections in and shadows. You see here, I'm going to put all in shadow. I'm using the darker screen now. Section here and this edge. That being mostly in shadow. So 
I'm going around the inside edge. In between the fingers will be darker. Underneath the hand a little bit as well. And that section there will be dark, like overlaps. Gives it a hint of a curve in that direction, trying to highlight that. I'm going to go over, I'm just going to use the two greens for this. It's not a wide section, so it's more difficult to do highlights. Inside the bottom there, as with this part, it's in it's the inside of the stem. So I'm going to make that quite dark. Repeat that again with the lightest green. Now I'm going to build up those layers again, the dark and the, and the light, uh, and see how it looks after two or three more layers. I have done the, the green stem. It's not very wide, so there wasn't a great deal of shading I could do on that, uh, but I think it works quite nicely. I'm going to work on the dress now in reds. I'm going to use um, yellow as a highlight. And as always, I'm going to put in the, the lighter sections first. Now, this section of the dress looks a little bit like the leaf pattern on the legs. So I'm going to do highlights for that in a similar way. So the edges, the tips at the top, I'll put my highlights there. And the edges here. Now the arm is now in the way and it's seeing me, so I'm just gonna go in to put the yellow highlight round the edge of the dress. For the tops. I think that'd be darker mostly and same here, so just the very edge there. 
as it's going behind the body a little bit like a bend right now i'm going to cover the rest of the dress in the medium red which is more of an orange red really that i'm using overlap slightly over the yellow This part here is darker, so there'll be mostly no yellow there. Same with that part. There's a part there. Let's put some yellow in there. Another section. Let's work it as you go along. I mean, sometimes I don't notice things until I come to colour. You know how the pattern's working. And again, I'm using the lines to guide me with my light and dark sections. I'm going to put a bit of yellow there for a highlighted section. Now I'm going to put the darkest red in just for this front part. I'm going to use these corners for the darkest section of red. And again, I'll be overlapping the orange red. Now I'll come to this section and realise that I think that should be darker. So I'm going to go over a piece of yellow there. That works better. Yeah. It gives me a nice dark section that goes all the way up the middle of the dress. Now, because this is behind her arm, I'm going to put extend that dark a bit there. Now that's my first layer of all the three colours. And I think it's working out quite nicely. Um, I'm now I'm going to go over the yellow, the medium red and the dark red again. I've done some more layers and I think 
that I need to have this slightly darker because it's still behind and the body and I think I've put too much yellow in there so I'm going to darken that in a little bit go but apart from that I think that's fine it's ready for the first blend these three colors work quite nicely to, together this nice warm red effect and I chose a like a dark yellow to go nicely with the orangey red colour Going for the first layer, that's a uh, blending layer, that's quite well, uh, works okay. I think I need to darken it in though with another layer. I'll do the darkest first, let's give it a bit more of a rich colour. Now with me medium red, which is more of an orange, overlapping the yellow and the darker red. And then the yellow again, overlapping with the medium ready orange colour. Darken that in a little bit. Now then, I've just gone over there. So I'm going to use my eraser because I'm not quite sure how that will work out. I know it'll be the same colour, but funny that way. I don't like to go over the lines. I don't mean to. Right, normally I would use the lightest colour to do the final blend but I don't want to lighten up the reds too much so I'm going to use the blender pencil and it'll be more of a medium pressure so it'll burnish it a bit more
right, that's the front of the dress. And it works quite nicely, that. I do like the colours. Very warm. Now I'm going to work on other parts of the dress. Now I think that section there is actually a part of the uh, wings. So again, when I'm doing a project, and I don't know what anybody else is like, you start seeing sections that maybe you thought was one thing and then it turns out to be something else. So I'll fill those in and then I'll come back to the dress. I've had a little look at this dress and I've decided I'm going to use a little bit of purple to darken it slightly. I feel it needs just a little touch more shadow. It's just a little bit of a darkened in section. Just thought it looked a bit more of a contrast. Now I'm going to work on this section of the dress. A few more folds here. So this will be an interesting part to do. So I'm going to do the highlights first. I'm going to be using these uh, lines to help me with my highlights. I'm going to do the middle of those two lines. And this is just in light pressure so I can go over this in a darker colour if I need to. I'm going to do that section there and that little bit there. Here. Looks like it might be curved up. This section here. Along that line, because that will curve inwards. Go to the next folds of the dress. I'm going to do the same again. Right, I'm going to make that fold that stands up piece there. I'm going to make it dark, so I'll take that yellow out of there. This is uh, tends to be more of a work in progress, a little bit of a challenge. So I'm going to make that stand out. And those parts are going to be darker. That piece there. It's just trying to work out the drawing, you know, the artists have given you in the lines. Right, so I'm going to just work on that section first. Uh, medium red. And I'm going to use that line there. It's darker and behind there, and then up underneath the top section of the dress. That'll be overlap, so that's going to be darker. Same on this section, just slightly darker because that'll be overlapping. I'm going to put a line there. lighter so I'm going to make all of that darker. 
work it out as I go along, adjust. Right. Now this section here, that's underneath and the leaf and that is like a, a fold so I'm going to do all of that in this medium and I'll go darker later on. The other side of this light section fairly folded up so again I'm going to put a darker section on this side as well. Now using light layers I can always go over it in lighter if I felt I need to, if I've got it not quite right. Underneath those sections will be folds. That's slightly darker there. And inside there I'm going to make that darker so that that stands out. This stands out. There we go. And extend that lighter section. I think I'm going to extend that lighter section as well. And then overlap. Darker colour. Yeah, that is a lighter fold, so I'm going to darken this edge, this section here. Um, just a little bit dark there underneath that top section. That's underneath. That's underneath. Those sections are underneath. And that as well. Now that's two lighter folds, so I'm going to darken this section so they stand out more. And that's overlapping. Extend this yellow. So you're just working it out as you go along. At least that's this is how I do it. I'm not hundred percent sure it's right. I'll I can always add colour rather than take it away. So tend to be quite careful at this point. This is extended down. That's lighter. Lighter there. Now this part is underneath the dress, so I'm going to put my darker, the lightest red in there. That's going to be underneath, so I'm going to do the same there. And that is dipping down, so that's going to be darker. I'm going to go back over here. Underneath sections. That's on top. So that's a lighter section, however, underneath there will be slightly darker because it's folded over, overlapping, and same with there. So that's underneath, that's overlapping. And then it comes to a lighter heightened section, so there we go, it won't be right across. This is underneath the dress, so I'm going to put that in the the medium red. Now this section, these this section of this fold is lighter on this edge and here as well. So I'm going to border that in the medium orangey red, cover that line and into that dip. That's overlapping, so I'm just going to put a little bit there and then extend lighter yellow. Now, this bit, this is for that's folded in. I believe that's overlapping underneath this lighter section, so I'll make that 
and medium red. That's overlapping there and there. However, this section here, I think will be lighter. Right, I'm going to just do these piece, little pieces here because they are part of this section of dress. That's underneath. Right. So now I'm just going to work on this section. Darkest red. Now the darker reds will be, I feel, underneath. So they are definitely going to be darker because they're underneath the dress. So I'm going to go over those. And darker. There's two folds there, so I'll leave that the medium red. There. Now I've done that like that because I feel that once it's starting to get towards the edge, it will be a slightly lighter red. As the light catches it more, whereas they're smaller sections. There we go. Now, now I want to do the overlap from one section of the dress to the other. I want to do those in the darker red as well. And again, I'm always doing this in light pressure, so like a night colour. I'm now going to look at these lines and see about darkening in these lines to highlight them more, the difference of the contrast. And this section here, I'm going to put just a little bit of shadow in there. So these lines here where the dark medium orange red is, I'm going to go along the edge of that, of those sections in the darker red. Just to try and highlight those folds a bit more. Right, and you can see now, well, I can see now where my folds are a lot better. So now I can go over all those layers, deepening those colours. I've done one, one or two more layers of the three colours, the yellow, the medium orange red and the dark red. I'm now going to use purple to darken in some of these sections a bit more to give it a bit more contrast. The underneath sections benefit from that darker and underneath where the, the folds are where it overlaps. So 
to highlight the contrast in those sections. I just darkness it a little bit and I'm going to do the first light blend with my blender pencil. Once I get this on, <laughs> there we go. Just light pressure so I can add more colour if I need to. Right, and it's looking quite nice, and I like the way the folds are working. It looks quite good for the folds. So I'm going to put a couple more layers on those to darken the colours. Now I'm aware that the video is getting quite long, and I try to keep these tutorials not too long, so I won't be finishing the dress this time. It's quite a bit of detail in this dress as in all the folds and working those out. So I'm going to leave it at this point for part three and when I come back I will in the next part I will work on the rest of this dress. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and you found it useful and I'll see you next time.